Hey DMAC fam, Father Nathan here. Wanted to uh, commend to you or recommend to you an awesome teaching that we received this past week from Nick Davis on the subject of evangelism. This is what we're focusing on both in our preaching and in our catechesis over the next few weeks. And um, I really want to encourage you to listen to what Nick had to say. The gospel drop, it, it shows us that there are reverberations for how the gospel spreads. And the first part of this is a gospel proclaimed. We see that this is history, right? It's something that happened in history. But it's not just any history, it's what Christ has accomplished. As by Paul says in Romans 1, 16 through 7, that I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. I want you to think about um, why are we talking about this? You know, when you talk about evangelism classes, so you think it's all going to be technique, especially really technique driven. So why talk about this? Well, the idea is that too often, Evangelism is thought of as an individualistic endeavor rather than as the activity of the church. Now you can check out the whole 52-minute teaching on our YouTube channel. I want to apologize in advance for some of the sound quality. It's kind of echoey in the parish hall right now, and unfortunately that, that made the sound not so great. Uh, but the content is certainly uh, worth your time. One of the things that he really wanted to teach us and... Um, one of the things that I really uh, want us to think about together is the idea of evangelism as the work of the church, kind of before it's the work of individuals. So without at all um, taking away our opportunity and responsibility to share the gospel personally with the people around us, Nick wanted to show us how that is really driven by how we share the gospel with one another in our Sunday morning gatherings, and how we share the gospel with visitors and those we invite to church as well. When we say evangelism is the work of the church, in part what we mean is, is that some of that evangelism, not all of it in every context, but, but some and an important part and a core part of evangelism is inviting people to take part in our gathered life. In other words, inviting them to church to hear the gospel proclaimed, to see the gospel proclaimed and lived out as we worship together. So you see that the preaching of the gospel builds us up. It, sh it strengthens our faith, those of us that are believers, as we, as we gather together for worship. The preaching of the gospel also evangelizes unbelievers that come and join us, that are drawn into our community in some way. Here are a couple of really practical questions I'd like you guys to think about. First of all, what is it that keeps us from inviting our friends and neighbors, family and co-workers to come with us to hear the good news of Jesus Christ with the family of God in the worship gathering. And in light of our answer to that question, how then can we encourage each other to do exactly that, to reach out and joyfully and confidently invite people uh, to join us for this so that they can hear um, the good news of God's love for them and his salvation of the world in Jesus. I want you to think about those questions, sit with those, talk about them, and bring them to the Lord this week.